Last season was remarkable for a number of Rampage players like Jordan Bennington, Jordan Nolan, and Sammy Blade, to name a few, who were all called up and contributed to the St. Louis Blues' first ever Stanley Cup championship. But with all of that talent in the NHL, San Antonio struggled to win games in the AHL, finishing at the bottom of the Central Division, standings with only 31 wins. So, heading into the 2019-2020 season, the question is, what's changed? One thing the Blues run to the Stanley Cup Final brought to Rampage players this year, it's hope. It makes you kind of realize you're not that far away and you know, it, uh, you know, I guess, motivates you a little bit. It's great for this franchise and it's great for, it's a great message for every player in this camp that, you know, if you can outperform your peers, you know, you'll get a chance in the NHL and you just have to be ready when you get it. But while the parent team's success was impressive, the Rampage are ready to turn the page in more ways than one. We brought in new blood. Uh, you know, I think we're going to be a younger, quicker team. Uh, we certainly did want to get younger. We wanted to have guys that were here uh, hungry, uh, that wanted to, you know, have success here, but also have the opportunity to play uh, with St. Louis. Our leadership group has kind of changed, but, uh, you know, they've been great, and, you know, they, they've done a really good job of kind of making everyone feel feel comfortable and bring the young guys in, and, uh, you know, that's, that's huge when guys are feeling comfortable on the ice and, you know, you just play your game, so. You know, everybody who's here wants to work, wants to improve, and wants to get comfortable. And, you know, the more we have people with, you know, the right attitude, the right mindset to be here, the better we'll be off. With only a week of practices and two preseason games under their belt, expectations are tough to gauge. But San Antonio only has one goal in mind. Personally, I just want to win hockey games, and, you know, because when we're winning, it's more fun everywhere. Everybody enjoys it more, and that's our goal for this year. All right, now this year, San Antonio native Nick Miglio made history with the Rampage by becoming the first local player to suit up for the team. He played in Thursday night's preseason game against the Texas Stars. For Miglio, trying out with the team he had been watching since he was eight was a dream come true and over two decades in the making. But most importantly, it was a chance to come home. Most kids don't know at age five what they want to be when they grow up, but that's not the case for San Antonio native Nick Miglio. I'll never forget it as long as I live. I went to a uh, like semi-pro game when I was younger. The lights went off at the Coliseum. Players started coming out on the ice, and he was standing on the glass, and I thought it was cool. First hockey game, and he looked, and they started skating out with the smoke coming up. And my dad said I kept talking about all the armor that the players had. He goes, wow, look at that. He goes, look at all that armor. He goes, I want to do that. And the next day, I went to a learn to skate class and fell in love with it. But it wasn't just knowing what he wanted to do, but where? After 22 years of hockey, youth hockey, junior hockey, college, and a professional career that spans the United States and Germany, Miglio has a chance to come home and play with the hometown team. I've been coming to Rampage games since I was eight years old, nine years old, and um, I don't know, it'd be a dream come true. It's awesome. It's, uh, you know, everyone wants to go home and play for their hometown team, and this is, that's what I want to do. You see a kid that has come up through the youth hockey here, played college hockey, uh, you know, has played at the pro level, and now has his sights on seeing how he matches up against the guys at the American League level. I think it's a great story, and obviously one of perseverance. The story doesn't stop there. In his AHL preseason in debut against the Texas Stars Thursday, the left wing tallied two assists and was named the game's third star. For me to, you know, have a good game and show that I can play here, that's all I could ask for and just wanted to show that I can play. But that's every little kid's dream, that's kind of what I envisioned and I've always kind of had that uh, dream, but for it to actually come true is something else, so I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty special. All right, here's a look at the regular season. The puck drops on Friday night at 7 p.m. for the first game for the Rampage of a four-game season opening homestand at the AT&T Center against the Manitoba Moose. And after that, they'll host the Tucson Roadrunners Sunday at 3 p.m. KSAT 12 has teamed up with the Rampage to give out tickets to select games this season. Congrats to Jody Stenzioni. You won tickets to the Rampage home opener this Friday. Someone from KSAT will be in contact with you tomorrow about claiming your tickets. We'll be giving away tickets again next Sunday for the October 11th game. Make sure to enter for your chance to win. The Rampage also have a new look for their Chimuelos night this season. They experimented with the alternate name last year for Dia de, Dia de los Muertos, and it was a big hit. On November 2nd, the team will don the Chimuelos jersey as again when they host the Texas Stars. KSAT 12 will also be giving out tickets to that game. Make sure you go to the Rampage website to sign up for your chance to win.